お誕生日おめでとうって簡単。おはようございます。<笑> Hello and thank you for joining us at the start of a truly special time, the Kanta's first anniversary celebration. Over the course of the past four years, we have been truly blessed by each of you. It has filled us with great joy to play a small part in helping share the experience of Japanese whiskey with people around the world. We hope that you will join us as we celebrate over the next seven days, leading up to the unveiling of an exciting new whiskey on the June 10th. Each day, we will share in case a different Japanese distillery or brand instrumental to the development of the industry. Speaking of the event, if you haven't signed up yet, in case, click the below link to save your spot. To start off the week, we're going to take in this look at the wonderful Yamazaki distillery and the remarkable single moss. That have put Japanese whiskey on the map. The Yamazaki Distillery is hands down one of the most well-known of Japanese distilleries, and for good reason. Over the years, it has produced a number of award-winning expressions, including releases that have shocked the industry by taking the top spot at leading competitions. The story of the Yamazaki Distillery begins in 1918 when a young man named Masataka Takatsuru had the ambition to unveil the secret of making fine whiskey. A company named Setsu Shuzu decided to take a chance on him and invested to have him learn the process. But Takatsuru knew that he couldn't unlock the secrets to whiskey making from books alone. He needed to see the process firsthand. So he went to where the finest whiskey of the time was being made, Scotland. It was there that he enrolled in the chemistry program at the University of Glasgow and began internships at three notable Scotch distilleries. He spent as much time as possible learning from some of Scotland's most renowned craftsmen, taking pages and pages of notes each step of the way. In 1920, he returned to Japan full of excitement and ready to bring whiskey to his homeland. However, upon arriving home, he discovered that the economic recession stemming from World War I. Had caused Setsu Shuzu to abandon its plans for whiskey production. Teketsuru was heartbroken. In the meantime, word got out that another company named Kotobukiya Limited, the company which would eventually become Suntory, was in search of someone who could help them start producing whiskey. Being the only Japanese person at the time versed in whiskey production, Teketsuru was hired by Suntory in 1923 to direct construction of the Yamazaki Distillery. Teketsuru worked closely with Shinjiro Tori, Suntory's founder, on all aspects of the distillery. The two visionaries may have dis disagreed at times, but worked collectively to create a modern distillery driven by quality. One such debate was about the location of the distillery. Teketsuru wanted to build the distillery in Hokkaido due to the area having a similar climate to that of Scotland, but Tori disagreed and insisted that the distillery be placed on the outskirts of Kyoto, Japan's ancient capital, due to the incredibly clean and pure water supply there. The Yamazaki Distillery still resides there today. With this said, as a bit of an aside to the story, Teketsuru did end up building the distillery he envisioned for Hokkaido. After his 10 year contract with Suntory, he started Nika Whiskey and built his first distillery called Yochi. At the site he had originally suggested for Yamazaki. In the days that follow, we'll cover more about Nika, but for now, let's turn back to Yamazaki. The early days of the Yamazaki distillery were not as fruitful as they would have liked. The Japanese had not gotten a taste for whiskey. The strong, powerful flavors simply didn't entice them. For centuries, sochu and sake, with their fruitier, lighter flavor profiles, Had ruled the Japanese spirits industry. So it's fair to say that whiskey wasn't about to suddenly become a favorite. As with everything whiskey related, it would take a great deal of time and effort. World War II was the turning point that changed Yamazaki's fortunes as soldiers from the West developed a taste for the whiskey being produced in Japan. Sales improved dramatically, and Yamazaki began to gradually see sales volumes grow internationally. The large number of years spent experimenting 
and producing different varieties of whiskey for Japanese locals meant that the craftsmen of Yamazaki had become experts at their craft. Driven by the Japanese pursuit of quality and perfection, each step of production was analyzed to make it better. This pursuit paid off and Japanese whiskey soared to new heights in the early 2000s as the Japanese whiskey boom exploded onto the world scene. This rapid ascent only grew as, ja as Yamazaki stacked up awards, including a shocking victory in 2015 when Yamazaki Sherry Cask was named the world's best whiskey in Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible. A resounding wake-up call to Scotch producers. Suddenly, the Yamazaki Distillery, which had struggled to generate sales during its infancy, had a new problem, not having enough well-aged liquid. Over the past few years, demand has far exceeded supply for Yamazaki releases, causing enthusiasts to scramble to find the bottles they hold dear. The good news is that Yamazaki is ramping up production and continuing to innovate non-age statement expressions to keep fans satisfied. In honor of Yamazaki, let's take a look at five of our favorite Yamazaki expressions. At number one, Yamazaki Sherry Cast 2013. We couldn't help but talk about this one first since it has become one of the most famous of all Japanese whiskeys. In 2015, it was named the world's best whiskey in Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible with a score of 97.5. And for good reason. It is incredible. And unlike many of the world's most popular whiskeys, this one has no age statement. But if you've tasted it, you'll know it really doesn't matter, at least not in this case. Notes of raisins, sticky dates, toffee pudding, and a range of berries combined with very subtle spices to form an overall drinking experience that is as well balanced as it is delicious. If you'd like to experience the ultimate in Japanese whiskey, Yamazaki Sherry Cast 2013 is it. But with only 18,000 bottles produced, it is becoming more and more difficult to find. At number two, Yamazaki 12. An excellent entry-level Yamazaki release, this one continues to be one of Japan's best-selling single malts of all time. It exhibits the characteristics that have made Japanese whiskey rise to fame. It's well-balanced, flavorful, and smooth. A newer version of the whiskey with a freshly designed black box was released in 2018, and both this and the older version are firm favorites among followers of the distillery and Japanese whiskey in general. At number three, Yamazaki 18. This one sits in the middle of the Yamazaki range of age statement releases between the 12 and 25 year old expressions. Fetching a slightly higher price than the 12 year old, this whiskey brings hints of Japanese Mizunara oak to the table along with a longer and spicier finish than its younger sibling. It has become a staple among the whiskey elite and according to 2018 sales data, Everyone else is in love with it too, and no wonder, it's a showstopper. At number four, Yamazaki 25. The delicious, world-beating Yamazaki 25-year-old was released all the way back in 1999, a whole 20 years ago. Rather surprising, as for anyone who follows Japanese whiskey, it feels like it was only yesterday. In 2012, a whole 13 years after it was first released, the incredible Yamazaki 25 was named the world's best single malt whiskey at the annual World Whiskey Awards, really putting it on the map. From then on, it went from strength to strength, leading it to become one of the most sought after and prized single malt expressions in the world today. So what's so great about the Yamazaki 25 year old? The most apparent thing to both experienced drinkers and newcomers is its unrivaled balance, poise, and smoothness. There is not a harsh note to be found in this exquisite bottling, and the huge range of intriguing flavors on offer complement each other in a way that only true masters of whiskey could make possible. It's a perfectly harmonious whiskey that provides a reminder of what is possible with hard work, expertise, and dedication. It's an expression that has already made a name for itself and has firmly positioned itself in the history books. And at number five, the essence of Suntory. Rounding up our lineup of Yamazaki expressions, this series has included bottles from each of Suntory's distilleries, with a total of four releases being from Yamazaki. 
While these bottles don't carry an age statement, Yamazaki has made up for this by giving fans the opportunity to experience Yamazaki liquid aged in unique cast types. The 2018 Yamazaki release was the rare chance to taste a peated Yamazaki expression. The 2019 releases brought three Yamazaki bottles, one aged in Montilla wine casks, one in Spanish oak casks, and one in refill sherry casks. The exceptional liquid is complemented by beautiful bottles featuring Japanese art in a modern style. These are bottles that will stand out among any collection. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this brief episode on Yamazaki. We'll be back tomorrow when we'll be looking at one of the most well-known brands in Japanese whiskey and one of the best blended whiskeys in the entire world. We hope to see you then.